How, when will she go into heat again? So where I can pick her before she goes into heat? Um, we she, some... she's fine to go now. I'd have to look back and see, but since she's never been breeding, I'm not going to have to tight track. I'm going to guess it was probably about two or three months ago. So she's good for probably another two months before I think. Oh. I want to do it before, right before she goes. Well, yeah, you have to do it for, you cannot stay then when they come into heat. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and you do not want to take her to the chief oak clinic. She will get her care. I almost had a heart attack. I wanted to talk to you about that when you came down here. I'm not going to take her to the new spay and neuter clinic. I'm going to just take her to a nice vet. I'm looking up on Yahoo mm -hmm. for who has the best reviews mm -hmm. and I'll take her to get her space She researches there. everything. You'd be okay. so proud. I am very proud of her. I won't do that. When you said that and you're like, oh my god, don't do that. I'm, okay, not a problem. So <laughs> I thought I was calm about it. No. <laughs> you were calm about it, but you were like, help, you're going to get her killed. And I'm like, okay, well, no, we aren't going to do that. <laughs> it's really sad. You know, it has its purpose, and I can't say that I would use it necessary. Um. rescues of the dogs that I have, but did I tell you why? No. Um, Other than you'll get her killed, so. <laughs> well, well, let me explain why. Cool, Pepper got put in her place. That never happens. See Pepper walking out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want her to be uh -oh. aggressive, so. Well, I want her to be stable, and that's not really stable. My shepherds are aggressive, but they're stable. You know, that's the difference. Um, but uh, what the spay and neuter clinics do is they don't do um, spays. Neuters not so much, but spays are a really time-consuming operation. And the first thing they do is they don't use an ID catheter because it's expensive, which means if the dog crashes on the table to the anesthetic, they don't have any way to keep the dog alive. They mm. just do um, a quick... Uh, so they don't do IV sedation, first of all, they use double tour or something like that. We would do three or four spades a day. We never did more than seven surgeries in any one given day uh -huh. because it was just too much physically. And uh, with two veterinarians, you know, you had one doing appointments, the other one doing surgeries. Um, they do close to 30 a day. Whoa! Wow. So there's nobody to uh, monitor um, the resuscitation of the dog. Uh -huh. The dogs after the surgery have to be monitored closely when the tubes come out and they have to flip them and monitor body temperature and they don't do that. They just throw them in the cage. And the worst thing that happens in the spay and neuter clinics is since they're doing 30 a day, they have to really take up, they have to shorten them as much and one of the biggest shortcuts they take is they use what's called a running stitch instead of a individual stitch. So they basically go on the dog's belly like this. In, not. So what happens is they send the dogs home on pain meds and then the dog gets kind of half groggy, wakes up, dog gets well, that instinct. You have to have the collar on there too, right? Well, yeah, but if they get a hold of it, which happens all the time, they get a hold of that one knot, it goes and it completely and the dogs eviscerate everything. themselves. And then you'll call your vet going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my dog eviscerated themselves. And they will say, we don't handle that kind of thing here. You need to contact a veterinarian's office or go to an emergency clinic. And then you have to go save your dog's life. 
and you will never be reimbursed because you signed something when you take the dog in and it says they're not responsible. Well, no, mm -hmm. I'm not doing nice. it. No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just explaining. They, they are really, they, they, they don't have enough people there to monitor. It takes, you know, three technicians to monitor seven dogs and continue operating the surgeries. And they are, they've got 30 of them. A lot of times they bang it, they don't even put them in a cage, they put them in a crate, the crates that they get dropped off in. Mm -hmm. They just turn around and drop them in there and nobody's monitoring. It's kind of scary. On the other hand, you don't hear a whole lot of people talking about them because they still do a lot of good for the community because people that can't afford to do it any other way, if they thought it was dangerous for their animals, they just wouldn't do it and then the, the pet population would be yeah. out of control. So, okay, um, how much is it? Now, how much is uh, like a good bet charge? Well, I wish we could have just gotten it done here. Um, do you have any intention of coming back down here in the next year to hang out or to come if we get really successful, sure. if anything happens? Just have to plan it out, but yeah. yeah, I'd love to come back. If you guys could do that, we could just take her up here to my vet. Uh -huh. um, and it doesn't have to be before and after heat cycle. She comes in the heat, it just is going to be annoying for you for a couple of weeks. Okay. But if we can work it out, let's say this guy does invest a bunch of money and we do do kind of a grand opening, maybe you guys can come down. We'll take her to the vet. She'll have a day's worth of recoup. You know, she'll be kind of groggy the first day and the next morning, then she'll be right back to normal. And it'll only be about $50. Okay, yeah. Because I've priced places and they only charge two, $300. Yeah, it's really cheap here. And I would have gotten her done beforehand but I was in the middle of training and I didn't want to set us back and then it just got out of, I just got busy and I forgot about it. Jackie, I'm not worried about it. That's fine. I mean, and you trust your vet, so. Yeah, I mean, they're right here and they're just, they're not cheap because they take shortcuts. They're just cheap because it's all anybody can play around with. two weeks while you think about it. Let me know what you want. And if you want me to train him as in more of an autism dog for him, I can. What do you think, babe? 
Well, don't make the decision now because there's a lot going on and you're here and you're emotionally invested. <laughs> yeah. So, and you don't I would have told you I would play that female if she had survived. Mark got upset about that too. I know. I know. You're softy, babe. That's why you're so special. You know what? What's cool is we saw him born. He was the second one born. That's sad. I know when he was born. He did it so cute. That's only because I jumped it down about a vagina. Huh? That's only because I, oh, Socks. I thought you were the girl. No, not the boy. No, Socks was the second one. I remember that. Yes. It's so funny. Why is that funny? I love it. Okay, so that's the ear powder, but I'm not going to be putting that in his ear, and I'm not doing her ears, so they'll do that. Yeah, and they may or may not use that. I use it because it helps. It takes a little bit of that sting away. Mm -hmm. And it's also... Um, you and your beard. You look well, you run upstairs beard. and get the cord for this. It's, it's laying where your phone was plugged in. You won't be able to charge it while you're videotaping. It won't charge. Are you sure? Yes. Well, it'll still run off of the AC instead of the camera. I don't think so. No. I'll go get it. was just done thoroughly by me less than 60 days ago when you see how much hair there is in here. So it wasn't the groomer screwing up. Well how does it it has to be done once a month? Recommended. You know, okay. um, they grow it the cabins at different lengths. You just check on that ear a lot and make sure Mine I have to do pretty regularly because we're at a high risk for um, infections around here because of all the ponds and the pools and the mm, water. Right. So in the summer months I do it a lot, lot more than I do in the winter. I'm, I'm really always worried because if they get an infection, it, uh... How about clipping their nails and stuff? How often do I need to get that done? Uh, you know, usually if you're going to take her in to have her groomed a couple of times a year, then that'll be necessary. But every dog grows at different lengths. Uh -huh. And since she's been on a farm, it's tough to tell how often. You just got to kind of watch her feet. 
Okay. People for shows, people that have house pets that primarily stay inside. It can be anywhere from, you know, once a month to once every three months, depending on, they, they grow like our fingernails. Every dog's a little different. Okay. And here, as we're doing this, becomes something people need to understand. I get emails all the time. People are like, oh, do I have to do that to my dog? Do I have to do that to my dog? This looks relatively clean. You see how little hair there is in there? Yeah. And this is what your average groomer will do, but what people don't know is that down in this canal, you will find... Okay, you know, do I need to hold her real yeah, steady? Yeah, just hold her head right there. Good girl. Good I'm actually girl. using the light of his video camera. You're going to get all the way down into that ear canal. You're going to see all that hair I'm still pulling out. Mm. That's all hair growing inside that ear. Poor baby. And so if you can imagine, if that was ear wax in your ear. Right, yeah. Why are wiggling so much? If that was earwax in your ear, you would have a problem. Right. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> She doesn't like it. Never has. She really hates it. She takes out to me. faster it grows back. I don't know why that is, if it has to do with the coat or what. Okay. Come on, Eva. It's okay. I know, baby. And some of this acts as a protection, you know, like... Wow. wow. Okay. Come on. It's okay. No, ma'am. We're all going to have bananas out here. It's okay. That's fine. Stop. I know you don't like this, but you gotta get it done. Okay? Using your hands for that outer ear makes it a lot faster and it's easier to grab hold without pinching that ear. Right. Like that. Oh, yeah, she didn't like it. Can you imagine? That was your ear? I mm. can just imagine. Now that's what we're talking about. It's very evident in this ear. Okay, girl. Now, I'm if start. somebody wasn't looking, and a lot of times those groomers won't get all that. Okay. I'm so proud of you. For me? Mm-hmm. We gotta do what we gotta do to make her protected. I might be able to do this. I don't know. Mark might have to hold her. We all got to do what we got to do. And that when you put that powder in, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can actually help you see the hair a little bit too. Okay, there we go. No. No, ma'am. Wow, Diva, you had a lot of hair. For a dog that was cut that short, that's amazing, isn't it? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm not going to protect you. It's weird because sometimes, did you notice the way when you let her go, she stopped fart fighting as hard? Did you notice that? Yeah. This is something with puppies that's important. Now, with her, she's old enough to know about it. I'm not 
not doing anything. That's what's so funny. <laughs> Oh girl. <laughs> Take it, girl. We can do a treat after this, okay? Okay. Yeah. Life is so rough. Can you hold this a sec? This is a Say hello, Diva. You and your beer. Oh, your breath stinks. <laughs> your breath stinks? Yes. Woo. How often do I brush your teeth? Maybe get a tartar scraper? Uh huh. Ah. Get all that off. See that? Okay. Mm. She needs her teeth clean. You can get a scraper from any pet store. Two scraper and okay. Like you know, you use at the dentist. You can get them clean after that. It'll cost you a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars to get the teeth cleaned if you just keep up on it. And look at this. It's fine. Right there. No, oh, don't, don't film that. Okay, wait. Now we haven't got some teeth yet. Well, they were dead. Stop! No camera. Terry incognito. Flea bag dog. <laughs> A lot of really scary things that are happening with dog medicine right now. And a lot of stuff that's kind of coming into the country. Right. Lisa's female that she bought from us uh, uh -huh. in December. Uh -huh. She got her in February, I think. Um, she got sick the other day. Wait, what? Um, really sick. They didn't know what was wrong. Something was going through her kennel. She has all kinds of issues. She couldn't figure out what it was. So they uh, finally did a big spin down of all of her uh, They finally did a big spin down of, of her poop. Dog came back with coronavirus. Where in the world did they get that? No idea. Very sick. And so we stopped vaccinating for Corona and Lepto years ago because it didn't happen. Yeah. By the way, coronavirus is the H1N1, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You said something about that the other day. Yep, and dog came down with coronavirus and um, some type of sclerosis, which is like another bacteria. It's like a fungi protozoa bacteria thing. And it was just a mess. Couldn't believe it. She and she just had her out. You know, she's been taking her to meet the breeds and stuff like that. So she picked something up in a show. Mm -hmm. And we don't vaccinate for coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So something's come over. Well, it's always been here, but we stopped vaccinating for it. It's carried by birds, and now it's becoming more and more prevalent. Mm -hmm. Once it hit humans. Well, it mutated, so it's not exactly the same virus. Like, yeah. it species jumped. Yeah. But it's so weird that the species jump after we eliminate it with the dogs, and then it comes back and starts getting the dogs. Around here, I revaccinated everybody on the farm this year. Dogs that I haven't vaccinated them for years because they're, they have enough immunity to last their entire lives. Girl, they don't need. Um, dogs that I haven't vaccinated in years and years and years. Ooh, she so dirty. Mm -hmm. She really needs to be a script. Aha! 